Well, Beth Nardone is here now with news about more arrivals from Europe. Beth? Thank you, John. The American market is showing no signs yet of being saturated with European models, and there are more to come, from Germany and from France. This is Peugeot's newest car, the 405. It's a mid-sized notchback, and in France it fills the space between their compact 309 and the full-sized 505. For us, the 405 will be a less expensive alternative to the 505, the only body style that Peugeot currently sells here. Unlike its bigger brother, the 405 is front drive. A variety of engines will be available in Europe, but U.S. spec cars will probably get the same 2.2-liter four-cylinder that powers most 505s. Unlike many European cars that get a hatchback for over there and a notchback for over here, the 405 was designed to be a notchback from the beginning. Coupe and wagon versions are also in the works, as well as a four-wheel drive model, but they won't be available right away. The 405 will have to fight for its share of the luxury car market. It goes against a lot of already entrenched German cars. Its biggest rivals will be the new Audi 90 and the BMW 3 Series not to mention a host of $20,000 Japanese sedans. And Peugeot's job won't be any easier after this new 5 Series BMW is unveiled late in 88. It's larger than the current 5 Series, with improved aerodynamics and more power. BMW is trying to simplify production by building all of their larger cars on a similar platform. So the upcoming 5 Series not only looks like the new 7 Series, it will also borrow many of its parts. Here's another BMW we won't see here right away, the 3 Series Wagon. BMW will introduce it at this year's Frankfurt Motor Show. It will be the first BMW wagon to reach production in 13 years. It'll get the 2.5 liter I power plant, and a four-wheel drive variant is in the works. The wagon won't be brought to America until BMW feels that the market can support it. Aside from four new models already on sale this year and the future wagon, BMW will introduce a four-wheel drive version of the 325i, a high-performance M version of the 325, and a 12-cylinder 7-series sedan. John? Thanks, Beth.